today, folks. It's a great Judy at Green Pasture Farm. And uh, coming to you, milling lumber. This is uh, Isaac's maiden voyage. I've been sawing today, and I'm letting him saw this one. He finished out the last log, but this will be the first log that he's done to complete. He's learning. That's the only way to do it. Okay, now before you bring that back, Isaac, raise it up just a little bit. There you go. Bring her back. You know what I'd do? I'd take one more inch off of that. This is a, a Wood Miser uh, LT40. It's got the Actiset on it. It actually has a program. Once you get your beam squared, you just hit a switch and it'll knock them off their you know, two bys, four by fours, whatever you want. Right now we're just trying to get them square. These are some logs that I've had cut for three years. And, oh, you're looking good. Yep, that's perfect. So now he's going to take one more cut and then we're going to flip it. You're good. cut this morning uh, we've got a bunch of one by sevens and two by fours just stuff that we're uh, kind of short on for bird houses the one by sevens one by eight and uh, it's just making some beautiful lumber look at that that cedar that was cut off our farm that we would have put in a brush pile you know burned it or just you know made a bunny habitat or something but we're actually making very very valuable cedar lumber. So now he's going to flip that dude over. There you go. Perfect. Bring it on up. See if he's got an automatic turner on it. There you go. One more time. Got to turn it on his belly. There you go. You get really good with this thing. You don't need anybody down there, but we're not that good with it yet. One more time. There you go. You got it. Perfect. So now he's going to lower this roller on the front. There you go. So when you have a log that is a shaped pyramid like that, you can raise that roller up to get a square edge. That's what he did. And now he's going to make the top cut. Down just a little bit. This is a highly skilled machine. Um, it doesn't care if there's metal in the way, it'll chop it off. Yeah, you're good. So it's up to you to make sure before that head takes off down through there that you don't have any metal. Stick it up and it'll chop it off. And you've ruined your blade and now you gotta replace a piece of metal on your mill. Um, this is a diesel. Uh, it's got a 35 horse uh, Lucy on it. It's an awesome engine. It's got tons of power. Oh yeah, it's good. You have to move your, move your uh, stop in right here. See, he's got a water feed on there. That bucket over there. It's got water going onto that blade as he cuts. The lubricant. Yeah, looking good, Isaac. Oh, yeah, you got that perfect, perfect. Yeah, love it. Ben's gonna get to cut one here in a minute. He's getting the biggest one of the day. That log there probably weighs a thousand pounds. A big old boy. See how efficient this thing is. It's amazing the technology that Woodmaster came up with. 
I mean, they, I would say Wood Miser might be the uh, Cadillac of the industry as far as mills. Uh, I did troubleshoot a lot of different mills, and I'm so glad. Uh, Josiah, thank you. <laughs> Josiah told me about Wood Miser. I was looking at two others and kind of liked them a little bit. It's a great. You're going to get a mill. Wood Miser. You just don't. They just don't come any better than this one. He's, he was right. So thank you again, Josiah. Okay. I just getting ready to turn this log up now on its side for the third cut. There you go. Now he's going to use his upright apparatus. Get up. Oh yeah, see what he's doing, he's raising this roller. He's going to get that raised up where it's flat. That roller right there, that's on a hydraulic cylinder. Now he's going to secure it. There it is. He's ready to rock and roll. Uh, this one does have a debarker on it. We're not using it on this cedar. Cedar's clean. You got a bunch of dirt on your logs, that debark is pretty nice. It actually takes the bark off right in front of your saw blade. So it makes your saw blade last a lot longer. Keep going. Keep going. Oh! You got it. You got it. What you think? Yeah, you can. You got a better eye than I did. Come down a little bit more. There you go. Right. You're, you're good. You're good, man. You act like you've run that mill your whole life. Here we go. This thing's a beast. The beast, I tell you. That's very, very dimensional lumber. Uh, you know, if you want a two by four, you can cut one two inches wide by four inches wide. Or you can cut it to standard, you know. You buy a two by four today, it's not a two by four, it's a, it's a one and five eighths by a three and five eighths wide. That's what a two by four is today. We cut two by fours out here. Oh man, it's gonna make some pretty boards here. Pretty boards. And we're saving those, those slabs for uh, Brenda and Jan. They're gonna put that in their vegetable garden as, as a border. Walkway paths, that's gonna last forever. It's got all that red in it. All right, you ready for your final cut? Get it square. going to be around a thousand pounds. So now it's going to lower this. There you go. Now, we're ready to rock and roll. We get one more cut here. We're going to be cutting up some boards. I love running this mill. You know, you can take a, a, a raunchy old log like that I mean, and turn it into this on your farm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Y'all checked out lumber prices lately since this COVID thing? It's unbelievable. Wood prices have more than doubled in less than a year. More than doubled.
Yeah, you're good. Go for it. You're, you're good. Yep, perfect. Let's rock and roll. Here. That gives you your speed, and then his left hand controlling that moving that arm back and forth to get that ball as he goes down through there. We good. We good. Yeah, we should have put those rollers down. That's all right. He's learning. He's going to get on top off the hill. Shouldn't have shut it down. That's all right. No, the only way to get that off, we should have put those arms down. I was busy taping. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Can we move that arm down, Steve? Or wait. Uh, you, you can't move that arm. No. 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 Uh, let me get. Let me end this tape, and I'll help you. So we're gonna take that piece off of there. And you'll be ready to start cutting here, man. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, guys. And uh, we'll see y'all down the road next time.